Now let's talk about how to evaluate limits using properties of limits. For example, let's say that the limit as x approaches a of the function f of x, let's say that's equal to 4. And the limit as x approaches a of the function g of x, let's say that's equal to negative 3. So using that information, what is the limit as x approaches a of 4 f of x? So what you're supposed to do is take the constant and move it to the front. So this is equivalent to 4 times the limit as x approaches a of f of x. Instinctively, you know it's just 4 times 4, 16. But if you want to show your work, this is how you should write it. Now we can replace this expression with this value because that's what it equals to. And so in the end, it's 4 times 4, which is 16. But some teachers will want you to write out every step. And you just got to do it that way. Here's another one. What is the limit as x approaches a for this expression? 3f of x plus 5gx. So let's rewrite it. This is equivalent to 3 times the limit as x approaches a of f of x plus 5 times the limit as x approaches a of g of x. So we know this is equal to 4. So what we have is 3 times 4. And this portion here is equal to negative 3. So that's plus 5 times negative 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And 12 minus 15 is negative 3. Try this one. What is the limit as x approaches a of the expression f of x times g of x. Show your work as well. Now instinctively, you know it's 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. But to show your work, write it like this first. You want to separate f of x and g of x. And then substitute it. So this is going to be 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Now what about this one? What is the limit as x approaches a of g of x raised to the fourth times the square root of f of x? How can we rewrite the expression? So first, we have the limit as x approaches a of g of x, which is all raised to the fourth power, times the limit as x approaches a of f of x, you can raise it to the one half or take the square root of the entire thing. So this portion is equal to negative 3. So we have negative 3 raised to the fourth power times the square root of 4. Negative 3 to the fourth power is 81. The square root of 4 is 2, so this is equal to 162. Here's another example. What is the limit as x approaches a of f of x divided by g of x? So how would you rewrite that expression to evaluate it? Here's what I would do. To separate f and g, I would write first the limit as x approaches a for f of x times the limit as x approaches a of 1 over g of x. f times 1 over g is the same as f divided by g. So we know the first part is simply equal to 4. The second part, it's going to be 1 divided by negative 3. So the final answer is negative 4 over 3. And so now you know how to use properties of limits to evaluate limits.